my passion in life, this is the movement I'm, I'm pushing, is how do you build a company you don't grow to hate? Eric, you've probably seen it. Sure, a million times. Yeah, people that- And get, even in network marketing, building a team you, you don't grow to hate. Totally. Uh, or, or the network marketing company owners building a company that they don't grow to hate or resent. That's it. You know, it, maybe not, maybe hate's too strong a word, but resent yeah. is, is- Get frustrated. The more biggest, common. Yeah, the biggest- Or feel risk. trapped by or owned by or obligated to- Or not fulfilled by because you're not or productive bored anymore. With, or bored with- yeah, I think the biggest risk to business is, is the CEO deciding, I don't want to do this anymore. Hmm. Just, I, it's not what I signed up for. And I think- and they can't figure out succession. They can't. Or and they can't, or the law of the lid. They, they, they hit John the lid Maxwell, and they, yeah. they can't bring somebody else in yeah. in order to be able to further the vision that, that, can, that can take Nailed it farther it. than they do because their ego. Yeah, yeah, I call it the pain line. I think entrepreneurs will not grow into pain. And when they hit that line, they either sell, sabotage, or decide to stall. And I want to help them. And stall's kind of sabotage. Stall, yeah? yeah. Well, stall is I made more profit last year and I worked half as much. I'm going to stop. I'm good. But the problem is with being good is your team's not good. It's kind of like sabotage. It is. Yeah. And the world is expanding. I call it a success coma. Mm. You go into a success coma. Yeah. You don't even know you went there uh, most of the times. Yeah. I've been in success comas probably, I don't yeah. know, five times in my life. Uh, you hit this certain thing and they. Good. Everything's good. Smoking Don't want to mess cigars, it up. Driving around, hanging yeah. out. I'm enjoying the fruits everything of my I'm labor. Everything I'm touching. You know, this is what I did it for. You know, so you kind of stop doing what got you where you were. Yeah. You don't realize it, but you're restless mm -hmm. and you don't know why you throw it into golf or you throw it into some hobby or, you know, you're going to travel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's travel. Yeah. It's not that thing. Two phases in, in the growth of an entrepreneur. One is the self phase which is nothing to be embarrassed about. Mm -hmm. I want to do better for myself. Yeah, I want to it's take in, care yeah. of myself. I want to be independent. I want to make my own choices. I don't want somebody else telling me what to do. Yeah, I want to be able to take care of my family, right? All, all that kind of stuff. When that gets taken care of, it's a very dangerous time for most people mm -hmm. because they don't know what to do. Yeah. So either they feel guilty that they're- And start sabotaging from yep. that place, yeah. Or, or, or they don't feel like that they're imposter they, syndrome. They don't deserve it. Or self-worth yeah. issues or whatever. Or they find the second gear. And the second gear is, instead of self, is contribution. And that's unlimited. It's super fuel. People start businesses for inspiration and desperation. In network marketing, a lot of times it's desperation. Yeah. And I think that's good fuel. But It's a fuel. So I call it dark energy versus light energy. Yeah. It's yeah. powerful though. Yeah. That's I mean, like a diesel fuel. If it's I have to- torque. If I have to find $500, are they going to turn my phone off by tomorrow? You find it. I'm going to find 500 bucks. But then you're going to find the next 500 when you don't need, mm. you know? So the, there's reasons built in when it's desperation. Yeah. When it's not desperation, there's not reasons built in. And so when you find that contribution vein, yeah. you say, you know it what? It pulls you forward. Oh my gosh. The amount of fuel in that, it's like rocket fuel. Yeah as far as your inspiration and motivation. So if you find yourself focused on just on yourself, start to, to take your efforts, push it towards somebody That's else. That's so, so good. I'm interested in how do you do that? Because I see some people do that into contribution yeah. and they wear themselves to death and they don't have a life. On the very top of my legal pad, it says lifestyle friendly. How can I build, cont contribute as much as I can yeah. to the world and my family and everything else mm -hmm. and still have it lifestyle friendly? You know, so I'm not killing myself. Yeah. My buddy Brad says life, life design before business design. Yeah. 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 Life plan before business plan. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We post new content every single day. If you're into network marketing, entrepreneurship, or personal development, this is the channel for you.